devil, you tried it. You really tried it. You thought you had me, but I for you. And it's called Sayy Medral and Jesus. Alright guys, so I'm in the room, got my IV in, sorry if you're squeamish, I got my IV in, getting my steroids, it was like a fight to get here, like, okay, so first, I told y'all that I was early to the doctor's office, which was true, but it was the wrong office, because this hospital is like a combination of two hospitals and the place that I had to go was in a completely different hospital. So I had to drive like 15 minutes down the road to get to the new hospital, got to the right hospital, and the parking lot was packed. They have like negative five parking spaces at this place for it to be such a big hospital. Houseway. Who designed that parking lot? Like literally had to fight and then almost got into a physical fight in the damn parking lot because I waited for a space person was pulling out he took forever to get in the car and pull out and go on about his business so I waited like 5 minutes for him a car pulls up behind me and I have my blinker on clearly ready to turn into the space like did follow the proper procedure for pulling into a parking space and indicating to other cars that this parking space is mine Everybody else who lined up on the opposite side, every other side, they knew that was my space. I was there first. So a car pulls up behind me, and as the car that I was waiting for pulls out of the space, they go around me, block me, and pull into the space. I was pissed. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that my son was in the car and I needed to get into this doctor's office, I would have let my Camden out. Like, are you serious? You saw me. Like, I followed the procedures and you, you did. And then it was like an old white lady, so you know. She knew she was wrong because when I made eye contact with her, she put her head down real fast. <laughs> she knew she was wrong. Just stole my parking spot that I waited for. Like, are you serious? But anyway, I made it. And they gave us like chips and apple juice. Thankfully, it, I do have like my own little private room so Theo can sit in here and his craziness can be contained. Because I was so mad, I completely forgot the book bag in the car. So they gave us chips, some apple juice for Theo. I just wanted water. Nothing tastes right when you get steroids. They taste like you get this taste in your mouth like you've been sucking on a nickel or a penny for a couple minutes like if when you were a kid if you ever done that you know what it tastes like so that's like the taste that I have in my mouth right now and I don't want to add Sprite or soda on top of that so I just got water and Theo wants these damn chips alright guys so I'm back home I feel kind of nauseous I didn't have breakfast this morning so Getting steroids on an empty stomach is not, it's not smart. Um, I stopped by Wendy's and got a bacon cheeseburger. And I could barely eat that. Plus it still tastes like I was sucking on a nickel. So, eh, at least I ate something. I'm actually about to lay down because in a couple minutes, Tom Tom's going to be coming home from school. And it's homework and him and Theo fighting and then just drama. So, yeah. <laughs> love my life but okay it is what it is um I left my show you guys this is my IV all wrapped up they give you the option like you can either get it basically anywhere and then they stick you every day or you can get it in your forearm because that's like that doesn't bend so you can't 
kink up your IV, which is the absolute worst thing that could possibly happen. Like, I basically, once I get an IV, I act like this arm is amputated. Like, I no longer exists. I no longer have it. I can't move it. It's super stiff. <laughs> like, I don't do anything with that arm that has that IV because I refuse for them to be sticking me like I'm a pin cushion because I moved too much and kinked up the cat the it's kind of like a catheter it's like a little plastic tube is what they inject into your vein when they give you an IV and if that gets a bend in it and the fluid can't get through baby you gotta get stuck again and no 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 ma'am no ham no turkey I will not so they wrapped it up all nice I've never had them wrap it like this before though they like capped off all the little I don't know what you would call them, like extension things. They capped them all off and then wrapped gauze around them, I guess to help keep the germs out, and then put tape around it. Normally they just give me like a sleeve, but hey, this works too. But like I said, from this moment forward, this my left arm does not exist. I don't have a left arm. What arm? All right, so it is day two of this steroid infusion process. I have one more day left. Tomorrow will be my last day. Say hi, Theo. Hi. <laughs> no, I want to. So you want to show them your T-Rex? I don't think T-Rexes make that noise. But, yeah, day two. And I am proud to report that I babied my arm enough. Why are you putting dinosaurs in my face? That I babied my IV so much that it still works. <laughs> so I didn't have to get stuck again. That is always like the thing that gives me the most anxiety is when I come back the next day or wake up the next morning when I get it done at home and it doesn't work. Oh, like that first push of the saline that they have to put in to flush it. Oh my gosh, I get so anxious, like, please Lord, please Lord, let this go through, please let this go through. But today, it went through. Not a problem at all. It is running smoothly, I got that taste in my mouth. That's how I really know that it's working, when I get that nasty taste in my mouth. But yeah, it's done tomorrow, and Lord knows I can't wait. I'm already feeling way better than yesterday, because yesterday I felt like death, but today is not that bad. I, I really, I feel in much better spirits than I did yesterday. <sighs> but then tomorrow, I'm hoping that whatever appointment that they give me for to get this last infusion doesn't conflict with the MRI, the neurologist appointment that I have tomorrow as well. Like... My neurology appointment is at 11.20, so I'm hoping that if I have to come here, they either give me something, well, no, they're going to have to give me something earlier than that, because I still need to get back to our house to get Tom Tom off the bus, and we live an hour away. So yeah, it's definitely going to have to be tomorrow morning sometime. Alright guys, wish me luck. Only one more day. I just got to make it one more day. Okay, so my machine was just beeping saying that it had an issue and I want you guys to see what I mean when I'm talking about getting a kink in your line like can you guys see how that part of the tube is like a little bit flattened out and that is because that little white piece this piece here they have to like clamp that off to keep the fluids in place kind of a thing and so like it doesn't keep like sucking not sucking but like pulling your blood into the tube from in your vein so they clamp it off to like cut off that little vacuum that happens so that little space that slit is pretty tight so it kind of squashed my tube a little bit and it was having some issues but nurse came in here and tried to like unflatten it a little bit but yeah even if you don't flatten it out 
that little tubey thing can flatten it out. But if all else fails, like, we just won't be able to use that one if it, like, completely flattens. But that's what this other one is for. That's capped off. So, yeah. But I just wanted to show you guys what I was talking about. So day two is done, guys. I am home. It's like 6.30, so I'm about to scarf down some dinner before 7 o'clock because, you know, my intermittent fasting, I can't eat past 7. So, I'm going to eat. My husband got me, like, this seafood platter from someplace somebody told him about, but I don't know. It's kind of dry. Like, real dry. <laughs> but I'm going to eat it because it means that I don't have to cook. So, I am about to eat this food. And I must say, I am feeling like almost 100% better than I was when I first called the doctor about needing to get these steroids. Like, it just goes to show that, like, if you have an illness, like, if you have MS or any kind of sickness at all, like, know your body. Listen to what your body is telling you because the moment that you feel like something is wrong, be on the phone with your doctor so that you can catch it before it goes overboard and then you end up in a state that you didn't want to be in because lord knows i need all of my mobility to get on this cruise because i am going guys like devil you tried it you really tried it you thought you had me but i for you and it's called saw you med draw and jesus so i'm going <laughs> i like i caught the relapse before it got full blown and before i couldn't really walk and now you can't tell me nothing so, I'm going to eat this food. I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm not really going to record for tomorrow because it's the last day. And basically the same thing happens tomorrow that happened today and the day before. So, y'all need to a, a repeat. Like, y'all know. So, yeah. <laughs> that is it for today, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys around. Bye.